1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Asma Hafiz. First, the headlines. Prime Minister says prudent policies of the government have steered the country's economy towards stability. Chief Minister Punjab has reiterated her commitment to elevate government schools to the standards of best private institutions. Frontier Corps Balochistan is continuing relief activities in flood-affected areas of the province. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, polit political leaders say BJP is rigging polls and depriving Kashmiris of their identity. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif has said right-sizing policy is being implemented as part of economic reforms agenda of the government. In a statement, he expressed satisfaction over significant decline in inflation rate in the country, as shown by indicators of Pakistan Bureau of Statistics. Shahbaz Sharif said that consumer price index fell to record low in July 2024, bringing inflation to 11 percent. He welcomed the forecast of economists regarding further decline in inflation in the current month. The Prime Minister said prudent policies of the government and hard work done by its team have stirred the country's economy towards stability. He said upgrading of Pakistan's credit rating first by Fitch and then Moody's is an acknowledgement of country's positive economic indicators by international financial institutions. He expressed the confidence that its positive impact on the economy would be visible soon. The Prime Minister also said that the federal and Punjab governments provided a big relief to the electricity consumers in respect of monthly bills and prices of petroleum products have also been reduced as well. The Senate and National Assembly will resume their sessions at Parliament House in Islamabad this evening. The sessions will start at 5 in the evening. Both the houses will discuss issues of national importance besides undertaking legislative business. Punjab Chief Minister Mariam Sharif has unveiled the Smart Classroom project at the government Kinnaird Girls High School, Empress Road in Lahore. This cutting-edge initiative developed in collaboration with Huawei represents a major leap forward in transforming education in Punjab, integrating advanced technology into the classroom. Punjab Chief Minister Mariam Nawaz Sharif highlighted the significance of the project and said Punjab government's goal is to elevate every government school to the standards of the best private institutions. FC Balochistan North is continuing relief activities in flood-affected areas of Balochistan. Due to recent rains in districts Kila Saifullah, Chaman and suburban areas, floods have affected the local population. FC Balochistan North, along with the civil administration, has shifted the local population to safe places. Ration bags, tents and blankets have been distributed among the flood victims. The railway track between Quetta and Chaman was closed due to mudslides at Shilabagh. FC is working with the railway administration and other departments for early restoration of the track. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, President People's Democratic Party Muf Mehbooba Mufti has said that the Election Commission of India changed the date of vote of counting for the occupied Jammu and Kashmir Assembly polls to benefit the Bharatiya Janata Party. In a statement, she also criticized the poll body for previously changing the polling date in her constituency during the Lok Sabha elections. Meanwhile, addressing a public meeting in Jammu, Congress Party President Raman Bhala said that Bharatiya Janata Party is taking away IIOJK's identity, status and rights over jobs, lands, trade and transport. He said selection and recruitments in the territory were marked by corruption and scams. Seventeen Palestinians have been martyred in Israeli bombing in Gaza Strip. Israeli forces martyred 11 Palestinians sheltering at a school in northern Gaza City, while six Palestinians were martyred in Israeli bombing in the city of Beth Lahia. 
At least 40,738 people have been martyred and 94,154 wounded in Israel's aggression on Gaza since October 7 last year. Meanwhile, a massive United Nations-led campaign to vaccinate hundreds of thousands of children against polio has begun in Gaza. During the campaign, the UN agency in Gaza will immunize 6,40,000 children in the besieged enclave. Meanwhile, Israel has agreed to a series of pauses in its attacks during the campaign. And now cricket. On fourth day of second test against Bangladesh in Rawalpindi, Pakistan were 131 for six in their second innings. Earlier in their first innings, Bangladesh scored 262 and Pakistan scored 274 runs. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official.